What's up guys, Captain Billy Delf with Delf Fishing. I'm not only your host today, I'm also your captain. We're gonna be heading down to the Dry Tortugas camping for a two day trip. We have a professional chef with us. He's gonna be our private chef today. He's gonna to be doing a catch and cook with us. It's gonna be so cool. Can't wait for you guys to see it, let's go. I think I'm getting a bite. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Oh, hammered me. Oh. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that king. That's a big king. Big king mackerel. So whatever we were marking down there, we still don't know what it is. My wrist keeps hitting by. Here we go. Get ready with that. Get ready with the gaff. Here we go. Take it. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger out here. Nice king. That's yeah. Awesome. This sucker ate it before we even hit bottom. He was smoking I want to go back. Let's go back and let's go see what was actually on that spot because he ate it before it even hit. And there was nice marks there. Look at there. that perfect hook set right in the lip. That would was you, lucky. Hey, would you expect anything less? Huh? I mean. Always a perfect hook set. I don't do anything else but perfect hook sets. Okay. Come on. Let's see on this next drop. How about that? <laughs> All right, we'll do it. Oh, we got him all, baby! Come on, boy! Oh, that boy got one! We got a good fish here. Dude, on a six Stop. ounce buck tail with a strip of it on it. Hammer. It's all day out here. All day. Here comes this fish. Just go over top, go over top. There you go. Here we go. Yes, we are. We're gonna go get on some groupers in a little bit here. Back up so so I can get to it. There you go. Nice, very nice. Look at it. see how the scales are all puffed out on this fish. Every 33 feet of ocean is an entire atmosphere of air. So these fish down there are coming from several atmospheres down, and it it destroys their body and. Uh, it makes it harder to release some of these fish sometimes, but these are great eating fish and we're keeping them. My man David here has the no fishing blues. He's been working for us all day long. So I think it's time to shake those blues and hook a fish. We'll see. You gonna do it? Hopefully. We need to shake this off of you. We need you back in the game. Let's do it. Let's get get a bait. Here, grab one on. We're going to get you up to the front of the boat. We're going to hook a big fish. David, what is it? Do we have our grouper? It's big. I don't do know what it is. Do we have our grouper, David? Call it now. Yes. It's Actually, a grouper or a snapper? No, I think it's a snapper. All right. Drop a, drop a comment right now and tell us what you think it is before he gets this thing to the top. Why do you think it's a snapper? It's just jumpy. Normally groupers will, you can feel their tail beat as they're trying to get you in the rocks. You can even sometimes feel it scraping on the rocks while they're trying to get you in. But this, this is just kind of jumpy. Just real jumpy like a snapper going crazy. I think you are right. Oh, oh, did you hear that? That's the 4th of July snapper. His stomach just blew up. David, that was the lucky fish. That was the lucky fish. And we are pulling him in the boat. David, look at the size of this fish. Wow. David, David, hold your fish up. Hold this fish up. It's a beauty. David, do you feel better right now? I do. Good. That's why we did that. <laughs> this mate is ready to get back in the game now and work hard for us. Sometimes you just have to do that with those mates. You got to get them a fish and then they'll get back and work. You ready? Yeah. David. Check this out, right? <laughs> I think it's 12, 11, 12. I think it's 12 pounds? Yeah. Daniel, can we get a scale? That's my guess. I'm gonna say just by looking at it, I'm gonna say, let me feel it real quick. You got him? It's been a while. Let me see here. I think you're about right, David. He's got some weight to him. Uh, I'm gonna say 13 pounds. I'll say 12. 12 pounds. 
Ah, 13. Mm. I mean, um, 13 pounds. Yep, 13. So when we catch a fish that's 21 pounds, a true 21 pound snapper, they are giant, giant fish. And these are about your average big ones out here, but you get some beast fish out here sometimes. I mean, I've seen the two biggest in my entire life and I have caught thousands of these fish out here. My two personal biggest fish I've ever seen on my boat were 27 and a half pounds. And that's about as big as you're ever gonna see. There's only one bigger than that that I have ever heard of in my whole life and it was 30 pounds. Caught out of the dry tortugas by a commercial fisherman. And I was there when it hit the dock. All right, so we had a great day fishing today. Uh, caught a lot of fish. These guys had a great time. We're actually down here in the Dry Tortugas right now. This place was originally found back in the 1500s by a Spanish explorer named Ponce de Leon. He called it the Dry Tortugas because of its lack of fresh water and over 100 sea turtles that he caught when he got here. Um, this place that you see around me right now is a Civil War fortress that was built during the Civil War on that same spot to serve the blockade to the south uh, that was going on by the Union. Enough of the history. Let's go cook with Chef Mike Leong, who's a professional chef, and I cannot wait to see what he has in store for us. So, so let's go check it out. We had a lot of fun today fishing, and we caught these beautiful fresh mutton snapper. Um, Captain Billy Delph just filleted them for me. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is start doing my prep for the uh, sauce for these mutton snapper. We're gonna do a Chinese black pepper sauce. So I just want a little bit of bell pepper. We're gonna go with a little bit of a uh, red onion here. All right. Um, we want to just dice these up really, really nicely here. We're going to cut julienne first, all right? And then we're just going to go just a nice rough chop, chop like that so we get nice little even pieces of pepper. Set that right in there. That's why I like to use a Chinese cleaver because it's kind of like I can cut and use it as a spatula also. Just a little bit of red onion there. Right there. Now we're gonna start our sauce. I wanna start with a, some soy sauce. This is all pretty generic stuff you can pick up at any local supermarket. We brought this with us today. We got some Kiko Man soy sauce right there. You wanna put maybe about two tablespoons in there. Okay. Um, this is oyster sauce. It's pretty basic stir fry sauce. A um, little bit of a sweet flavor to it, salty. Give it a good about two, ta two tablespoons as well. Some sesame oil gives it a nice fragrant uh, flavor to it. Some chopped garlic. I, I buy this, um, it's already minced garlic in, in olive oil or sometimes they have it in water. And uh, just some black pepper powder. This is McCormick's. They give a good amount if you like it. A little spicier, add a little more to it. And we're going to add a little bit of water to that. And as it cooks, it's going to re reduce and uh, put a nice sauce finish to the fish. As you can see, we got these mutton snapper. Some of the fillets are a little bit thicker because these are really big fish. So we're going to put these in first. All right, just like that. You hear that sizzle in there. Okay. I flipped it over already. We got a nice cook on one side. And uh, so this is the sauce that we prepared before. Soy sauce, oyster sauce, this garlic, some uh, chopped red onion, some chopped bell pepper, black pepper. Um, and we're gonna add it right here. It's the, the moisture is gonna help cook the fish also. Uh, finish the cooking in it. And uh, it's gonna reduce into a nice sauce. Put that right on top of there. Oh my God. You can smell it already. Oh, oh, oh that smells good. Guys. We're finishing the light up with our cell phones here. And a flavor. <laughs> and a lamp, sideways lamp. Mike, come on, buddy. Let's right, do this. So our fish, as you can see here, it's just uh, 
about 95% cooked and that's we're, we're ready to go with these, these smaller fillets here are, are cooked already. The sauce is reduced, the flavor is in there. We're gonna turn the flame off. Mike, this smells amazing. I am afraid that we're gonna chum in these park rangers over here. If we keep letting this like the smell waft over here, they're gonna want some. So this is pretty cool. We're actually cooking right here at the fort and uh, it's kind of like the first time I've ever done something like this. I guess you could do this camping. And uh, our mutton snapper is uh, it's cooked right now. As you can see, we had a little lid on the kept the steam from the sauce. I don't want to serve this piece right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right there, you can see. Hey, that's it. Wow. Okay, Captain. Let me dig into this thing. You hold on. Your phone for you. Here, hold this. Get you nice. out of that. <laughs> Was like holding lights. <laughs> <laughs> Light me up, I don't care. I'm going for it. The mutton snapper is like one of my favorite snappers, but it's so nice and flaky. Oh my gosh. I mean, not just because I'm starving right now, but it is literally better than anything I've eaten in my house so far. I just love it. Yeah, so the, the way we cook this, I mean, with the steam and, and um, really delicate cooking we're not deep frying it or blackening or we're not really I'm, I'm not even hearing you right now we're not even oh, hold on to, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh take away from the, the my... beautiful fish itself dude awesome that is That's amazing it. and I love how simple it is wow easy way to... this is the end of episode four thank you so much for tuning in um, Mike holy cow this is amazing I feel so blessed to be here with you guys um, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We have so many great ideas we're going to be sharing with you guys this season. Talk to you guys real soon. Peace out. Thank you, everybody.